The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Well, that movie definitely had an interesting effect on both of us. Hello, Schmoville, and welcome to our review of Annie. No, this is not a classic review. There's actually a new movie called Annie that's coming out this Christmas season. Certainly made you think about the classic movie. Um, yeah. And look, I saw the trailer for this movie and I said, I'm going to give this movie the benefit of the doubt because this could be, really, could be a really great, interesting remake of the classic. First of all, it was a Broadway play. Yeah. Then it was a movie done by John Huston, by the way, who did... Who did um, Oh, yeah. Angelica's Pappy. A, a Malt Maltese Falcon, for goodness sake. Now, look, I was dreading watching this movie, I'll be honest with you guys, because I always dread watching musicals for some reason. Then I get in there and I get really sucked up. And it's famous in Ellis War that I actually loved watching Annie, the original one, as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I actually think this is the way to update it with Quavenzene Wallace as Annie. And I just didn't really like the movie that she was in all that much. Movie stoinks. Oh, there's the word. It is Awful. I hated huh? it. Oh, I hated it so much. And I started watching, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, oh, well, I like the music. Wait, I like the music because I like the music. I it's remember, good music. It, it's good music. And it just, it, you know what it seems like? It's like, if you ever watch any of those shows, whether it be uh, uh, The Voice or The X Factor or The American Idol, whatever. I'm not married. I don't watch that. You've it. seen American Idol sometime in your life. Aware of it. All right. So it seemed like karaoke more than it seemed like someone doing a new take on, you know, like it's like what, someone singing Rolling Stones on one of those shows, <laughs> but yet make it their own. You're like, oh, that was cool. A new version of it. That wasn't this. This was a complete just rehash and nothing felt genuine at all. Don't you think it's such a narrow window, though? I'm not sure what it, what that magic is that sometimes I can watch a mashup or a new version of an old song and say, oh, they really nailed it. Then other times it does feel like it does. Yeah. For the most part in this movie, however, the musical pieces in here were my favorite part of the film. Because uh, because you were familiar with them already. Yeah, but I'll, right. I'll say I think Wallace was the perfect choice to play an updated Andy. And I love Jamie Foxx and the new spin that they had on the Daddy Warbucks character, even though that's not his name in this movie. I think Wallace... Uh, Wallace is absolutely a great actress. What but, a talent. But My she wasn't connected God. to the role at all because I don't think anybody could connect to any roles. And yes, Jamie Foxx was, gr was not great. He was good in the movie Big because Sam. he's Jamie yeah. Foxx. But I'll tell you what, I don't know why he agreed to do this movie. The same thing, and I, the best person in the entire movie is Rose Byrne because she's the only one that seems somewhat real. Everybody else was a, a damn cartoon, especially Cameron Diaz. Holy crap, she was horrible. For the most part of this movie, I feel like I was watching the Smurfs where nothing, yeah. there, there's yeah. nothing you Perfect. can ground yourself to, even yeah. though I like some of the performances. But like you said, Cameron Diaz, just she plays the, uh, the what's it, Hannigan, right? And yeah. It's yeah. A, I mean, compare, and, and following Carol Burnett, that is it's, an insult. It's impossible. That is an insult. To follow. I mean, look, I, I think that she made a game effort, but man, it did not come off well at all. Uh, I also, uh, Bobby Cannavale is also in the film. I thought he was um, bad too. The, so uh, yeah, the storyline is it's an updated version where Hannigan has these foster kids and mm -hmm. she's keeping them so she can collect some state money. Then when Annie believes her real parents are out there, she goes searching far and wide for them. And then there's some political cover up because Jamie Foxx is right. running for an office or he's trying to keep his office. And then all of a sudden everything gets jumbled up and he finds out maybe I really like hanging out with this girl, even though I may not be the father. You got to see the movie to figure out what the DNA testing is. Maury, Maury, yeah, you know, but it Maury. didn't have that same connection with what when Albert Finney played um, Daddy mm -hmm. Warbucks. That he there was a, he was a kind of cold-hearted dude who warmed up. As where Jamie Foxx's character Stacks, whatever, is just he's out for political gain, and then he, with his relationship, it seemed forced. He never seemed why, just because they made some bad dinners together or something. I don't know. It was silly. Um, and the other thing, you know, who gets screwed in this movie? Sandy. Sandy gets screwed. <laughs> Where is Sandy? The whole point of this movie was that, that you ha it's like Batman and Robin, Annie and Sandy, and Sandy's just some schmucky dog who they find for a second, and that's it. And they happen to name him Sandy. It's a rip. <laughs> You're a dog person. Yeah. You went into Annie just wanting to see Sandy again. I'm sorry, buddy. That's not the only reason you hated this movie. No, it was I can see why that would upset you on top of everything else. It just seemed like a really bad play. Forced, um, like I said, it's a really stinky version. That, that Cameron Diaz is over the top nonsense that she's doing yeah, it was yeah. over it was i mean and everything with this what <laughs> these faces stop with the faces subtle I, Watch I, Rose Byrne. I, I think subtle. So, so, and again, Rose Byrne has that face too. In other films, just not in this one. Yeah, and they're and, all and bowing Fox, down to Rosamund Pike's face. True. Jamie Foxx, by the way, is subtle as well. But he's just 
dealing with this stinking turd. And I was wondering why he did this. And then I started looking into who produced this movie. And because there's a lot of big talent attached to this movie. Yeah. Even in cameos and whatnot. You got um, your uh, Will Smith and Jay-Z were the producers and of this And Jada Pinkett Smith yeah. as well, Yeah, too. there you go. So yeah. it's, they're just taking every 80s movie property and remaking it. And it doesn't... Well, the last one, you can say what you want about it. Kung Fu Kid, Karate Kid worked a lot better than this. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say this. If you're going to see this movie, if you have kids that really want to see Don't this movie... Don't take them to see this. There, there's going to be a lot of musical numbers that your kids are going to be singing, and once you get back to your house they're singing, it's going to feel like the old Annie. There's yeah. some fun cameos in here. I liked a couple of the performances. Wallace is a huge talent. Just didn't like the movie. I'm going to go 2.1 out of 5 schmoes for Annie. Uh, we're going a little lower. 1.8 out of 5. <laughs> this thing's... It, it's stinking up there pretty quick. It, I, I tweeted out about it. I saw a fart bomb. Oof. Um, yeah, it just made me want to watch the original. It really did. Uh, anyway, I'll do that. You want to do it? Yeah. Well, watch the you original? Busy? You want to do a classic review, Annie? No. Why can't we just enjoy the film? This tainted it. All right, Schmoville. Will the sun come out tomorrow for you guys? Will you watch this thing? Do you care? Did you like the 1982 version? And are you interested in watching this brand new Comment on this review. We hope you guys are having a great holiday season so far. You can check us out on AMC Movie Talk. We're there two to three mm -hmm. times a week. And the Schmoes No Live Show on SchmoesNo.com. No, no, Thursday, no. 6 to 8 uh, p.m. PST. No, no, I got a special announcement for you. What? Starting this Thursday and from now on, the Schmoes No Movie Show will be streamed live on YouTube. Schmoes No Podcast. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Schmoes No Podcast. The and sun it, will come yeah, out see, the one tomorrow. Bright, the one bright spot. And Bet your bottom dollar you that can, tomorrow. <laughs> get a Star Wars shirt for Schmoes No. There it is. Go right there. You get a Schmoes No Star Wars shirt. Two weeks, limited time. Everyone's been checking these things out. I'm glad you guys are buying them because they're awesome.